The build makes this boss fight in NG plus 2 so easy. Rain of Fire, Light Attack, Retreat, Thrust, with all the swords flying out. Light Attack, Retreat, Thrust, and uh, Light Attack, Retreat, with see through Thrust. You can see I'm just repeating this Light Attack, Retreat, Thrust. That's it, and it's so easy. I didn't get this one, but I think we should be fine. We drink, after we stand up, you can see our HP is keep gaining. So this is the uh, board and the drink we're using. So we dodge, and the retreat, thrust, light attack, retreat, thrust. And uh, light attack, retreat, thrust. Just repeat this, and the fight is going to be over. Oh, this is fun, we get a hit, and we can Use Cloud Staff, Rain of Fire, HP is back again, and uh, we use the Heavy Attack to get this one. And uh, Light Attack, Retreat, okay. Light Attack, Retreat, see through, and uh, Thrust, the fight is over. I will show some footage about fighting the Stone Monkey and the Great Sage's Broken Shell later in the video, but now let's try to understand how this build works. Starting from the weapon, we're using tri-point double-edged spear, which will shoot a lot of swords upon performing forceful thrust. This basically means we will shoot a lot of swords to hit our target upon we use forceful thrust. So together with our spirit, Earth Wolf, which grants a small amount of additional focus on hits, combined with two, we will get a lot of the focus back when we hit the enemies which means we can almost get our focus always there not depleted and we can also use amber prayer bits to further increase the focus build up we get a free heavy charge attack at the beginning of the stone monkey fight and uh, we put down rain of fire and start repeating our light attack retreat and forceful thrust light attack retreat forceful thrust you can see we're hitting him really hard thrust yes Light attack, retreat, post post thrust. Oh, he's running away, so we get back to our circle. Okay, and the light attack, retreat, post post thrust. Light attack, retreat, thrust. Okay, light attack, retreat, thrust. We just repeat this again and again, and we're going to win the fight. And we get the see through. Okay, not bad. Retreat, post post thrust. Light attack, retreat. Thrust. If we time this well, we will get a lot of scissors. But it's over. Our weapon is designed for thrust stance. Let's understand it first. So this one is basically to see we can charge our heavy attack by holding the Y button on the controller while remaining on the same place on the ground. And this one is to increase stamina recovery, which is fine. And offense in defense is really the key for our build. After performing a light attack, Followed by a heavy attack, we perform a technical retreat. So that is the action to go back here. And then if we further follow up with a heavy attack input, we will do a forceful thrust like that. And this point is to see, after doing the charge heavy or forceful thrust, if we hold our light attack button, we will unleash warding thrust. So warding thrust can stack up to 15 times to slightly increase our critical chance and the stagger or repel the enemy can take more damage which is great if we have four focus point if we roll or do a perfect dodge we will unleash the thrust heavy attack immediately and the following warrant thrust with heavy attack unleash a technical retreat so this is basically we can chain a lot of the attacks together if we're really good at this i will show some footage later and this one is to see after tactical retreat, very similar to the smash stance. If we do the retreat right before the enemy is going to attack us, we will get a short period of time that we will be invincible. So this is really good for our fight. The last one is to save some stamina cost, which is a nice to have. Putting everything together, we do light attack, retreat, and thrust. We can also do light attack, retreat, and rolling. So we don't have to do the thrust every time. We can do light attack, retreat, connect with the uh, thrust, uh, warding thrust. Do it again. Light attack, retreat, thrust, connect to warding thrust, and then retreat, and then warding thrust, retreat, 
and then thrust warning thrust the retreat so you can see all of these actions can be chained if we're really good at this on the defense side because the ring of fire will give us a lot of initial hp restoring and staying in the circle can give us not only hp storing but also the focus point build up you can see my focus point is close to three yeah then we can light attack come back and do thrust as long as we are staying in the circle we are restoring our hp and also the focus point this is really nice we use Qin Tian gourd this has only one use but i believe that's around 15 seconds we'll get unlimited refill this is how this gourd works which is very nice because it is unlimited especially during the long fight this is very very useful i recommend to use the dry spirit drink this will first recover 18 percent of our maximum health after that it will gradually recover another 48 percent of our maximum health so what you can see in the fight is that after drinking our hp fills up a little bit and then no matter what we do we'll keep getting our hp back this is really really strong in the fight and for the socks i simply put two damage reduction socks here we also have option to use non-bomb drink to recover 30 percent of health and also increase the damage and then use a bunch of uh, damage reduction soak critical chance reduction soak and this one but in my opinion the first setup is much better make us much stronger and uh, resistant to the attacks from the enemies in higher ng plus we mentioned the weapon we're using and also the spirit we're using we use weaver's needle as our vessel for the armor set we use the full Bookings set the helmet will give us more focus point when getting hit which is very very, very nice and then if we wear two set we will get more defense upon taking damage that is nice as well if we wear the full set we are not getting the perfect dodge but we gain tenacity which will allow us to not be interrupted by getting hit so this will allow us to do see through much much easier it is my favorite set for the curious use amber prayer bits to gain more focus point build up tiger tendon belt is really good to increase our damage after seeing through and since we're using the chin tian board we can always use the busan sensor to give us another 15 percent damage reduction which is very nice and of course use tiger tally to increase our attack after light attack combos and uh, i want to mention this one this uh, warp actually will prevent us dying upon the next fatal blow after we land enough successful hits because if you remember whenever we do forceful thrust our weapon will shoot a lot of swords out so this will help us build the necessary successful hits very quickly so we can always have this one this is almost like an additional life we're getting which is very very strong and it depends on the situation for example if we're fighting in the water we can use this water ward warp to considerably increase defense as well and definitely if we're in the lower ng plus or even new game we can put a lot of other periods to increase critical chance or increase critical damage that's basically up to you relics are very flexible a couple of useful ones such as uh, opportune watcher king insight all ears old breath refreshing taste and the everlasting vitality also the uh, elegance in simplicity for self advance pretty much on the survival focus on the health critical chance create hit damage maximize thrust stance maximize ring of fire cloud step can be useful as well and the life saving strength will give us a guaranteed two life which is uh, very nice if the last one happens there is a chance of not using it so if that happens we can have two additional lives but this happens not that often it's actually very rare for the transformation i'm using this one i will leave the final fight again in the end if you like the video please like comment and subscribe to keep us going thank you for watching